Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, it's release day for Newton's Nook Designs and I get, I'm get i super excited. I get to share with you some brand new products coming soon to the Newton's Nook Design shop. It's part of their February release. And for all week long, I'll be sharing um, sneak peeks of products that will be available on Friday. But there is a chance to win this stamp set here. This is called In um, Hop Into Spring and it's a four by six stamp set. The chance to win this, um, details for this are over on my blog, so be, be sure and check it out, guys. It's super easy to try and win this. All you have to do is leave comments on each uh, blog team member's blog. Um, plus, you get to see lots of inspiration with the stamp set. Um, it is cute little bunnies in here, perfect for your Easter projects, and then there are coordinating dies. Two sentiments that say, your sun bunny special and happy Easter. There's also two new stencils to the shop. This one here is called Raindrops, and I'm twisting and turning it because embedded inside the stencil is the name of the stencil, and I want to make sure I share with you the name of it correctly. <laughs> but this is called Raindrops, and it has larger raindrops that um, trail down to a smaller raindrop, and it's great for scene building. Um, great for those April showers, bring me flowers cards. <laughs> and then there's also this stencil. It's called Petite Flowers very dainty little stencil and we're going to be using this in our project today um, again if you want to check out my blog be sure and um, leave a comment basically that's all you have to do to enter to win and then um, on Friday the winners will be announced over at the Newton's Nook design blog so let's make a card I thought it'd be fun to break out my zig clean color real brush markers and do some water coloring so I'm stamping two of the images. I really like the little bunny that's peeking out of the water pail. And then I also like the one that's holding a little flower. So I put them in my Misty and I'm gonna ink them up with some Simon Says Stamp Beige Ink. Now this is um, great for no line water coloring and that's what we're gonna do today. Um, create a real soft effect with these images um, with the zigs and um, with no lines, but when you're finished, you can't tell that there's lines behind there, but it looks like you're quite an artist when Newton's Nook Design did all the work. <laughs> um, I'm gonna speed up the video for a little bit while I color. I'll play some music, and then when I'm done coloring, um, I will catch you back.
Okay, coloring is all done. And I just think they turned out so soft and so pretty. Um, and of course I had to color in the daffodil and the tulips, my favorite flowers ever, tulips. And I colored them in with some yellows and then darkened them up so there's different shades with my little orange um, zig marker. Okay, we're gonna take the coordinating dies and die cut them out. And I don't think I mentioned this, but um, the water pail one, the die that goes to that image, will actually cut out the handle um, and then the inside piece where the spout is. Um, and I love when that happens because it just adds extra detail to your die cut images. So there they are all ready to go. Now we're gonna do some um, stenciling on this background panel. I trim this down so it'll fit on the inside of a stitched line um, panel that we're gonna die cut out in just a little bit. But I had already adhered pixie spray behind my stencil so it's stuck down there good. And I brought in my, my glass mat um, for this project because I just love my glass mat, but the, I don't love the glare that happens with my camera. And so I don't use it very often, but we're going to be using texture paste today. And so I thought it'd be um, great and easy to clean off my work surface <laughs> with my glass mat out today. Texture paste is from Ranger. And I'm you can tint this any color with your oxide inks, with any kind of um, ink but I'm gonna leave it white. I think the tone on tone with the white is gonna add a very daintiness and softness that to me goes really well with the watercolor softness that we created with our images. I'm just spreading it over our stencil, filling in all those little flowers and texture paste does dry pretty quick. And so I'll just remove my stencil, we'll pick it up and then I like to take my hand and go around the edges of my paper um, because the texture paste does leave um, little edges and when it dries it'll dry rough and so I wanted a smooth edge so just using my hand I kind of went around the, the sides of my panel here and I'm trying to pick up the light for you so you can see that the texture that it um, that it, it's giving but in the close-up pictures you'll really be able to tell okay this is the stencil or the die that I was talking about this is part of the frames and flags die set I'm taking the largest one and it gives me a scalloped panel um, with stitch lines and this is where I made sure that that panel that we just added texture paste to will fit on the inside here. Um, it's drying, but it's not drying um, enough to put it on my panel just yet. So we'll work on the rest of our card. I want to start, start off by adding fun foam to my panel here. I just trimmed down a small piece that will fit um, on the inside here. Um, the fun foam that I use is from Walmart. It's adhesive back that's inexpensive and it works great um, for popping up panels. <laughs> now I want to add a little color, just a soft, subtle color. So I'm using some Distress Oxide ink. This is Tumble Glass and just using my blending brush I'm going to go around the edges. Um, you can hardly tell what I am um, with this color since it is so light, but when you put it on white it does reflect the blue a lot trying to show you here and you can barely see that blue but it's very soft and I like that effect okay we're gonna flip it over we'll go ahead and adhere this to our card base which is a standard a2 size card base it's top folding I'm gonna make sure oh I had it upside down <laughs> make sure it's right side up and then that's ready to go now I cut out two of these banners they're stitch detail on here and I'm gonna I wanted them a little bit longer for my card base. So I glued two together and then the the spot where one is overlapping the other we're going to cover with one of our images. I also die cut out a circle um, with vellum and I thought this would be a great place to stamp our sentiment. So I'm doctoring up my circle with my anti-static powder tool. I'm going to uh, stamp <laughs> the sentiment that says you're somebody special with Versify and Onyx Black ink and then I'll just go over this ink with some clear embossing powder. And usually with my embossing powders I use a plastic spoon, but I just couldn't find it so I'm using my little sequin spoon. <laughs> I'm just gonna go melt that embossing powder and it turns that black ink to like a smoky gray ink which goes really good with my water pail. So that's ready to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my background to my card base and it's dry enough to to touch but um it's not quite completely dry yet i think um i think you should give it a little bit of time to set but 
In the meantime, I'm going to layer my banner to my vellum and then add my images. Again, the bunny that's holding the flower is going to be over the seam of my fishtail banner. Um, and then behind my vellum, I decided to add a little bit of blue, just using that same tumble glass. And I'm adding color to the reverse side of my circle. And I think that's going to look great. I added my images, tacked them all together. Um, my bunnies are actually popped up with foam adhesive. And then I'm adhering them to the, to the banner and then to the vellum. And so it's all one piece. And then I can go ahead and add this to my card base. Now, um, my background panel had that texture paste on it and I didn't trust my, my tape runner for adhesion. So I'm using my double-sided tape. This is pretty strong stuff. And so I thought we'd use this to adhere that to our texture paste background. We're gonna add this and I think that looks very soft and dainty and I think it looks very pretty. Um, for bells and whistles, I'm just going to bring in some clear gems, just adding a few here and there for a little added sparkle. And then after we have our gems added, I thought we'd bring in a little um, extra sparkle too with my Nuvo um, shimmer pen. I'm going to go over my flowers, adding some sparkle to them. And then I thought, you know what, we'll go over the water pail too. And add a little sparkle there and then that completes my card for today guys using the hop or hop into spring stamp set that is going to be available on friday so the link downstairs and to my blog is there in case you guys want a chance to win this stamp set um thanks for joining me i wish you a fabulous day and we will see you again soon Bye bye